There was a moment when no one could have envisioned a self-driving car becoming a reality. But, through time, what we originally thought was, maybe doable, has evolved into, how could anybody believe it was unavoidable, and is now commercially available. Despite the fact that Leonardo da Vinci invented a self-propelled cart in 1500 AD, it wasn't until the 20th century that the concept was implemented. When Google announced in 2009 that it would begin research into self-driving cars, the subject sparked widespread interest. Several major corporations are presently exploring and producing semi-autonomous and fully autonomous vehicles. In the preceding three years, several automotive titans have proclaimed their intention to produce fully autonomous vehicles by 2022. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you all of Tesla's competitors and what their advantages slash disadvantages are. To be regarded as completely autonomous, a vehicle must be able to travel to a predefined location via a route that has not been altered for its use. As a result, the most significant advantage of deploying a self-driving automobile would be far fewer traffic collisions. This is what more and more car companies, but also several Silicon Valley tech companies are working towards. Pony.ai is a pioneering firm that provides some of the best AI-powered solutions for improving the self-driving car experience. Pony.ai promises to disrupt the transportation industry by producing fully autonomous self-driving smart automobiles. This self-driving car firm claims that their vehicles are efficient, safe, and affordable. Furthermore, its AI technology allows its cars to be intelligent, allowing them to easily navigate difficult city driving situations such as other vehicles, bicycles, and pedestrians. Pony.ai believes that the most viable method to bring the first generation of self-driving cars to market is through a practical engineering approach. Waymo is the front-runner for a position among the top autonomous vehicle companies. It is a Google-created initiative aimed at delivering self-driving automobiles. The company has been working on self-driving car technology since 2009. The project was previously known as the Google Autonomous Vehicle Project. Waymo manufactures many sorts of self-driving autos in order to meet the transportation demands of various users. Waymo manufactures both commuter and self-driving vehicles for business and personal usage. Waymo manufactures a range of self-driving cars to satisfy the mobility needs of different clients. Waymo manufactures both commuter and self-driving vehicles that may be used for both work and pleasure. On July 5, 2019, Jaguar Land Rover and Waymo announced a long-term strategic partnership. The two companies are working together to create the world's first luxury self-driving electric car for Waymo's autonomous on-demand transportation service. Waymo's self-driving technology has already been tested for millions of kilometers in U.S. cities. Waymo cars completed 1 billion simulated miles of test driving in 2016. Kia, a Hyundai Motors affiliate, intends to launch a fully autonomous vehicle by 2030. Hyundai, on the other hand, is approaching the market in a different way than the rivals. It is seeking to create technologies that will be affordable to a broad portion of vehicle consumers, mainly the middle class, and to make such automobiles as cost-effective as feasible. Hyundai said in February 2019 that it will invest 45.3 trillion won in the development of new models and technologies for electric and driverless automobiles, as well as transportation services, over the next five years. Samsung Electronics, Hyundai Motor, and KT, a Korean telecommunications company, have established a collaboration to test autonomous driving technology on the 5G network. The three companies will demonstrate self-driving cars on a next-generation network. Ford is one of the most ambitious and early autonomous vehicle companies, aiming to launch a highly driverless vehicle as soon as feasible. It intends to have a fully driverless automobile on the road by 2021. It has also undertaken a number of strategic measures in this area. Ford stated in 2018 that it plans to have self-driving vehicles on the road and operating by 2021, and that it has been establishing a testing center in Miami for the previous nine months. Ford said in July 2018 that it will establish a separate $4 billion firm to manage its self-driving car efforts and will seek external financing. Audi stated in January 2017 that a highly automated vehicle will be available in 2020, and a Level 3 vehicle would be available by the end of 2017. According to the corporation, 
NVIDIA's AI technology will be employed in the company's autonomous automobile. Audi, a Volkswagen subsidiary, developed a new autonomous driving division in 2017. The new entity is known as Autonomous Intelligent Driving, and it functions throughout the Volkswagen brand. In 2018, Audi unveiled the second-generation Q3 small SUV, a larger and more comfortable vehicle with semi-autonomous operating capabilities. Audi then formed a cooperation with Kanyata Limited, a producer of autonomous vehicle simulation tools, to expedite the development of self-driving cars. Huawei, the Chinese telecommunications titan, has shifted resources to the development of autonomous automobiles in recent years. It has published a white paper outlining how mobile network providers may contribute to the connected vehicle ecosystem. Among them are smart parking, fleet management, data related to in-car entertainment, LTE-based emergency services, and other industries. In October 2018, Huawei announced a collaboration with Audi to develop self-driving technologies for Chinese market autos. The partnership will center on the development of so-called Level 4 technology, which is described by the Society of Automotive Engineers as a car that drives itself from start to finish inside a certain territory. In December 2018, Huawei Technologies, its semiconductor subsidiary Hi Silicon, and RoboSense became the first Chinese companies to contribute to the formation of an international non-profit organization that supports open-source automated driving projects. The allure of autonomous cars has always proven tempting. It has the potential to alter our commute and long-distance travel experiences, to remove individuals from high-risk work situations, and to simplify our businesses. It's critical to helping us design the cities of the future, where our reliance on and relationship with automobiles is redefined, cutting carbon emissions and opening the way for more sustainable ways of life. And it may make our journey safer. According to the World Health Organization, road traffic accidents kill more than 1.3 million people each year. We want safer roads with fewer accidents. Automation may be able to supply this in the future, Camilla Fowler head of automated transport at the Transport Research Laboratory in the United Kingdom, agrees. The most difficult challenge for people working in the driverless technology business is ensuring that the automobiles perform safely and effectively in complicated and unpredictable human contexts. The next two years will be devoted to solving this piece of the problem. This is being addressed by specialists at the University of Michigan's MCT test facility. It's a mini-town of sorts, made up of 16 acres of road and traffic infrastructure, and it's the world's first purpose-built testing area for autonomous cars. It consists of traffic lights and signs, underpasses, building facades, tree cover, home and garage exteriors for testing delivery and ride hailing, and various terrains such as roads, pedestrian walkways, railway lines, and road markings that the vehicles must negotiate. Experts examine scenarios that even the most experienced drivers may struggle to handle, such as children playing in the street or two cars attempting to join on a crossroads at the same time. We are entering a period of technological growth, and yes, the future has here. As a result, the day is not far away when all of our vehicles will be totally self-driven and automated. All of those sci-fi movies that made us hope that such a thing would be feasible one day will come true in only a few years thanks to the ongoing inventive strides we are taking in this area of technology. So, what is your opinion on these competitors in terms of their full self-driving capabilities? Do you think that Elon Musk will finally hold his promise of releasing a fully working full self-driving system to its buyers? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.